Hi guys, um, welcome back. Today I have a pretty cool match for you. Um, I am in this pretty large online tournament called the Nugget Bridge Major. Uh, I've done pretty well so far in the past two years. I got in the fourth and eighth. Um, it's got a couple hundred participants in it, held by Nugget Bridge every year. Um, so it's pretty big and I've always enjoyed it because you get to play against a lot of really cool and sometimes high ranking players. Last week I played against Link Yoshi Mario. Today I get to play against a guy, um, his name's Lati. I know he's from Germany. I don't know much more about him though. Um, so it's a best of three Swiss kind of thing. So he's my round two opponent. I won round one. He brought Tyranitar, Azumarill, Ferrothorn, and Rotom Heat. Um, and so um, he's scouted that my Tyranitar is Scarfed. I also know that he's got Citrus on his Rotom Heat. Um, also, I wanted to point out that um, at least afterwards he mentioned how how well prepared my team was for Ferrothorn, so he regretted bringing it round one. But like no one really expects to forego Iron Head for Fire Fang on all while, so that really came out to my advantage. Here we're going into game two, so I need um, one more win to take the series. He needs to win this one and the next one. I'm not going to spoil anything clearly, but we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to commentate a little bit to tell you what went through my head. I do, on recollection, I can tell you some things that I probably should have done better um, and some things I did well. So, and, and at the very least, it, you know, it's an interesting battle because um, Del Fox does come out and he gets to jack a couple items which are pretty key in um, this victory. I just spoiled it. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, I lead with um, Tyranitar and Rotom Wash. He did lead with um, Rotom Heat last time and Azumarill, I believe it was. So I definitely wanted Tyranitar out there to hit, you know, anything. Especially if the Ferrothorn came out here. I didn't want to just, like, have my Tyranitar. I didn't want to have, like, a, you know, I didn't want to take that Power Whip. So I had Fire Blast. So I know... I was kind of covered. Now, Tyranitar in this lead matchup is doing absolutely no work for me. Um, I don't know what item the Gardevoir is running. I know the Tyranitar is Mega, and it's got Dragon Dance because he did that last time. So I got to be careful for that. Um, and that's why I'm going to go up and I'm going to Will-O-Wisp it immediately. Um, and then I wanted to scout what item the Gardevoir had, so I attack it with Dark Pulse. Now, that does have a chance of flinch. It does, I mean, I should have probably, in retrospect, Rock Slid because it has a double chance for flinch, so if I was faster, I had a 30% chance to flinch either one of these guys. So in recollection, that's probably better. I didn't know how much Dark Pulse was going to do, though. I know it hits neutral, and I know I'm max special attack. So I wanted to see if I couldn't do, you know, enough damage to put this thing within Sucker Punch range for later. He Omega's first turn, so it's just immediately Omega's, which is different than last game, because he saved that towards the very end. Um, he goes first. He is definitely Scarfed, so now I know... He's locked, and it's not Specs damage. Dark Pulse goes up. Little disappointed with how much that did. I know it's got pretty good special defense, though, so I can't. I mean, like, that's just that's just who Gardevoir is. Crunches after Rotom. Gets the defense drop. Leaves me out of Citrus range right now, but Sam will put me into it, thankfully. I land the Will-O-Wisp, which is huge, because that's going to help me, you know, with that Tyranitar in the future. Like, real big, because Mega Tyranitar is just massive attack, massive defense. Like, just nuts. So you don't want to mess around with that. Sandstorm does put me into Citrus Berry range, so that's good. Now, I know we had Azumarill and Rotom Heat last time. Um, so Rotom seemed like something that I definitely wanted to keep around for a while. Um, I wasn't guaranteed, like I wasn't sure exactly what he was going to do. He could have Rock Slid, he could have gone for another Crunch. So I, I switch in Mawile to get another minus one on him. So in case he does double up on the Rotom spot, I can resist both attacks he's going to throw at me. And if he does end up rock sliding and I switch in Delphox, which is my other guy, I'm not going to take too much damage. So I wanted to weaken that Tyranitar as much as possible while getting Delphox out here because I need to take that Moon Blast, which is for sure going to kill my Tyranitar. Um, now, so there comes Mawile. I get the minus one on the Tyranitar. So now it's minus one and burned. He does make an awesome play. Moon Blasts the other slot, um, knowing that I'd probably switch out Tyranitar. I still resisted though, so I was like, all right, no big deal. Special attack fell, okay, no big deal. Crunch comes out here, minus one burn. I was like, I'm gonna take this like a champ. Critical hit. Not the best, because I would have taken almost nothing from that otherwise, but now I'm down to half health. Delphox is, however, rocking full HP, and I know that Gardevoir is locked into Moonblast, which is not gonna do shit to either of these guys here. Um, Sucker Punch will finish off or at least it'll put 
I think it'll kill the Gardevoir from this range. Especially because I'm not at minus anything. And he doesn't have any Intimidators on his team, so I don't have to risk him switching in anything. And I figured if he left, he would not leave Tyranitar in right now just to die. I really didn't think he would. And even if he did, like I wasn't going to take that much damage from a minus one burned Tyranitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up on this Gardevoir spot. In retrospect, did not need to Sucker Punch at all. Moonblast is not going to do anything. I should have just Psychic'd it. I didn't want to overheat because I don't want the minus two just yet. Um, so I go for the Sucker Punch. I, I may get Sucker Punch. Should have just straight up gone after the Tyranitar. I really should have um, and gotten rid of this thing before. It was able to do you know more than one attack to Delphox. Uh, of course it fails. I didn't even need that. Psychic comes up though. I am going to get to steal this item, which is so clutch. He gets a special defense. I get a special defense drop, which is also really important because it means I've got the one-hit KO on him next turn. I jack the Citrus. That Rock Slide still does a lot of damage to Delphox. I really thought it wouldn't even do that much. Um, and so now knowing it did that much, I probably should have just gone after it instead of Sucker Punching because I really didn't care what Gardevoir did. Rotom Heat Citrus can't activate because I just took it, and now I'm holding on to it. Now I'm outside of Citrus range. So Delphox, it's really obvious if I go and kill the, the Rotom Heat, just as it was obvious he was going to come kill my Tyranitar kind of thing. So I'm going to protect here for two reasons. One, I'm pretty sure his Rotom Heat's either going to switch or protect. And two, I don't want to take that Rock Slide damage, which really did more than I thought it was going to. And I'd rather just be at the top of my yellow bar to hit the Citrus and activate. So I'm back up to like, you know, three quarters of my health as opposed to taking a hit and Citrusing up to less than half. So I'm going to protect here and have Sand put me into yellow with Delphox, expecting him to protect on Rotom Heat. Um, because otherwise he was just going to die. Like either a Sucker Punch here or a Psychic's going to kill him. He's got so many ways to die here. It was a prediction though, because if I protected and then he overheated, I'd be in big trouble. He goes for a Crunch, really trying to get rid of it, which would have killed. Because, um, you know, no spread damage. So that was a good protect on my part. I get the KO there, and I'm going to go up with Citrus Berry. So this was a really, this was a pretty good turn for myself. I get the KO, I get back up to almost full, like look at this, that's nasty, right, that's a lot of health, I mean it's not almost full, but it's like it's pretty good, decent chunk, and he protected, he's definitely within Sucker Punch range, special defense is down, definitely within, you know, Psychic range, I'm I out speed with either Sucker Punch or Psychic, he can't just come Willow with, you know, and get around Sucker Punch, um, now he does have this Azumarill here, because I am at so much health though, I don't have to worry about the Aqua Jet, so I put myself in a good position for that, um, if I had taken another rock slide or whatever and survives just barely with citrus aqua jet would have finished me off and his rotom heat would have been free to will -Wisp this turn to get around sucker punch that's not the case though in order to kill delphox he has to has to waterfall it to kill it and um rotom heat i i ate the berry i ate my citrus berry too which is important because now i can steal another item now is it obvious that i'm going to go in psychic rotom heat because it protected last turn and it threatens mawile yes it's obvious now am i taking a risk by not attacking it this turn yeah um, do I end up sucker punching it? I think so, just to be safe. We'll see. I know I definitely want to go steal whatever item that Azumarill had. I didn't get to find out last game. I never saw it activate. So I definitely want to go take it just to see what it is. You know, taking items. A Pokemon without an item is at a serious disadvantage. So I'm definitely going to go and fire off um, a Psychic over on the other spot. I guess I just switch just in case he stays in. I guess, yeah, I can see the merit of that too. In case he stays in and overheats. I go for the Psychic here. I'm going to hit this thing, do a little bit of damage to it. Magician takes the walk on Barry, which is huge, 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 because now it's within Thunderbolt range, because he does, he, you know, it's not going to be half power. He stays into overheat, despite me attempting to kill him or whatever. Um, he's going to go down half special attack, and he's going to get the waterfall up against Delphox and get rid of it. Um, not before, though, you know, Delphox has taken the Citrus, taken the walk on, put the Zoomer in the KO range. Left, you know, Rotom Heat at below half health. It'd be at much more health right now with that Citrus Heal. You know, it'd be well in the green if it still had the Citrus in it and it had eaten it. So Delphox really did a lot of work there for me. Um, do I wish that Psychic had done more? Yeah. But without the Walk on Berry, that Azumarill is definitely going to die to a Thunderbolt. So I inherently have pressure on it just because I'm faster with my Thunderbolt. Now, what I do here is I send out Tyranitar. And this is twofold. One, I figured I can Thunderbolt, Azumarill, and Rock Slide. And the Rock Slide will go off first, and it'll kill um, Rotom Heat if if um, Azumarill, you know, protects. I'll get that KO. Or if it switches, I'll get the Rock Slide damage on the Gardevoir, which will put it within a second Rock Slide range and force Azumarill to attack. 
Right here, I'm definitely forcing Azumarill to attack, and I should have Thunderbolted into Azumarill knowing that my Rock Side would have put me in a good position either way. I almost have a win condition here if I just Thunderbolt Azumarill. I make a mistake. I make a misplay here. I think he's going to protect because he knows that he's going to die or he's going to switch to um, Gardevoir. So what I do instead is I Rock Slide and I Thunderbolt into Rotom Heat. That, in retrospect, is a terrible play. I do not need that whatsoever. Rotom Heat's at half special attack. What if he protects? You know, I, I guess I wanted to, in case he switched, I wanted to make sure that... I know Aqua Jet's going to kill Tyranitar. I want to make sure I put it into definite Sucker Punch range. I'm not really sure what kind of damage I would do. I know it needs a little bit more damage um, in order for Sucker Punch to threaten the KO. And I, did, I really did not think he was going to leave Azumarill in to attack and die. I really did not think that. So I was like, all right, I don't want to waste my turn. So I'm going to go and Thunderball over there. I get a Paralysis, which will help me out in this next turn real real big because I don't have to Sucker Punch Gardevoir anymore. I can actually go and play rough without threat of getting taking damage because it is slower than Mawile now. Um, if it was not Paralyzed, I'd end up Sucker Punching that slot and then deciding with Rotom either to Thunderbolt, Azumarill, or Hydro Pump one of the two spots expecting a Rotom Heat switch in. Um, because he did get Paralyzed though, I can play rough that slot, which means if he does switch in um, Rotom Heat, he's going to be really really hurt he's gonna be really low and then with sandstorm damage i could probably stall him out and kill him that way and if he stays in then i just get the ko without him doing any damage with his um you know gardevoir so that's really big it, it forces me to not need to sucker punch this turn so i can actually go on the offensive and hit with a play rough and thunderbolt that azumarill slot in case that azumarill is trying to get you know trying to get offensive on me and try to ko something which i don't want to have happen like i said last turn if i just thunderbolt the azumarill slot I'd be in such a good position. I'd have uh, Mawile. I'd have Rotom Wash against, uh, you know, half health Rotom Heat and that Gardevoir after, you know, Sandstorm, probably with either within Sucker Punch range, and then the other one I could KO with a Hydro Pump. Uh, that didn't happen, though. And also, that would have come to a little bit down to luck to see if um, I call a right Sucker Punch it if I hit the Hydro Pump. So either one's good. If I knew I was going to get the Thunder, you know, the Paralysis, this is obviously my best scenario because I can do this attack and I can get the Thunderbolt off. So either way... I ended up in the best scenario possible, but by accident. I definitely should have, you know, Thunderbolt to the Azumarill, so if he did try to kill Tyranitar, I'd at least get the kill on Azumarill. I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought, like, oh, it'll be okay. I know that he, both of my guys are outside of Aqua Jet range, though, so I'm not afraid of him coming out and trying to kill something, which is also to my advantage because I'd have to play a protect game otherwise. Play rough will go off. I'll get the KO. He was going to try to attack. Probably for the best, so he doesn't just take unnecessary damage. A paralyzed Gardevoir just kind of wants to be put out of its misery, especially if it's Scarfed. You know, anything slower than Mawile that's, you know, not supposed to be is kind of in misery. So we're down to two on two. Half health about for each of my guys. Um, about half health for him too. I do get a Hydro Pump or Thunderbolt kill here. I get a Sucker Punch kill on Rotom Heat, and I get a Play Rough kill on Azumarill. So those are my options here. Um... I don't know what the Rotom speeds are. I don't know if he's faster than me or not. His Thunderbolt might kill me depending on his thing, uh, depending on his spread. So I go and Sucker Punch that to be safe. His only option there was really to Will-O-Wisp to not, to not lose that slot and to try a double protect on Azumarill. Um, that would have put him in, in his best position, but I figured I at least had a 50% chance of killing the Azumarill because he protected last turn and the Sucker Punch is going to go off because he did try to attack. I'll get that Sucker Punch kill and the Thunderbolt kill. Um, really good game. Uh, both of them are really good games. And, you know, thanks a lot, e, for playing with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Um, hopefully I'll bring more Nugget Bridge Major battles to you guys because I think they're really helpful. And, you know, they're, you get to see some real teams out there, not just, like, random battle spot stuff. So, yeah, these are all guys who, like, you know, play VGC pretty competitively. And other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.